Mr. Klein Storytime. Hello, my name is Mr. Klein. I've been an elementary school teacher for almost 30 years, and I love reading stories to young people just like you. In fact, I've got a great story that I'd like to share with you right now. So let's get started. Unicorn Diaries, Bo and the Witch by Rebecca Elliott. Table of Contents. Chapter 1. Flying Lessons. Chapter 2. A Charming Witch. Chapter 3. A Magical Feather. Chapter 4. The Worst Witch. Chapter 5. The Unicorn Witch School. Chapter 6. A New Pet. Chapter 7. The Patch Parade. Chapter 1. Flying Lessons Sunday Hi, Diary. It's me, Rainbow Tinseltail, but you can call me Bo. Sorry if my writing is a bit wobbly. I keep looking up at the sky instead of at the page. You see, witches learn to fly at this time of year. I don't want to miss them. I live in Sparkle Grove Forest. Lots of magical creatures live here. Some live high up in the clouds, like witches. Rainbow Falls, Gnome Tunnels, Troll Caves, Glimmer Glade, Sparkle Grove School for Unicorns, Dragon Nests, Bud Bloom Meadow, Witchester School, Snowbell Mountain, Unipods, Fairy Village, Goldie's Cave, Twinkle Plop Lagoon, Goblin Castle. Here's what I know about witches. Witches fly above the clouds. They're hard to spot because they don't come down to the ground. They're also great at spells and potions. Most witches have a special pet that travels with them. Their broomsticks leave behind sparkly streaks in the sky. Most unicorns can't fly, but some unicorns can, like my friend Nutmeg. Here are some facts about all unicorns. Horn, very good for storing donuts. Ears, they twitch when we have a good idea. Mane, smells like strawberries. Hooves, when we dance, rainbows shoot out of them. Want to know more about us? We like to paint pictures with our horns. When we use our powers, magical stars twinkle around us. Unicorns aren't born. Instead, we appear on very starry nights. A ladybug landing on our horn brings us good luck. We don't have parents. Our friends are our family. My friends and I go to Sparkle Grove School for Unicorns, SSU. We live together in unipods. We all have different unicorn powers. I am a wish unicorn, so I can grant one wish every week. My best friend Sunny can turn invisible. Here is my teacher and all my other unicorn friends with their magical powers. Nutmeg Silvertips Flying Unicorn, Scarlet Sugar Lumps, Thingamabob Unicorn, Jed Glitterock, Weather Unicorn, Monty Dumpling, Size Changer Unicorn, Piper Forestine, Healer Unicorn, Mr. Rumptwinkle, our teacher, Shapeshifter Unicorn. At school, we study sparkle-tastic subjects like magical mime, sky-gazing, fortune-telling, the power of friendship. We all have a special unicorn patch blanket. We learn something new every week to earn our next patch. I should get ready for sleep now, diary. I need to get up early tomorrow to do some more witch spotting. Sleep well. Chapter 2. A Charming Witch Monday After our lessons this morning, 
Mr. Rumtwinkle took us to Bud Bloom Meadow to look for witches. I hope I get to see one. Me too. They leave swirling streaks in the sky. Since you fly, you must see witches all the time, Nutmeg. Well, actually, I can't fly above the clouds, so this is the only time I get to see them too. We sky gazed all afternoon. We saw beautiful clouds and a family of tree sprites, but there were no witches. With no luck, most of the class decided to leave, but Mr. Rumtwinkle let Nutmeg, Piper, Sunny, and me stay behind. After we sat for a while, Sunny suddenly jumped up. I see a swirling streak. Yes, great job, Sunny. How cool, my first witch sighting. She seems very close to the ground. Oh no, she's way too close. Crash. We quickly galloped over to the witch. She had landed in a soft pile of leaves. We held on to the witch's feet and pulled her out. Oh my, I fell far. Thank you, unicorns. Hello, my name is Charm. Hi, I'm Bo. This is Sunny, Piper, and Nutmeg. We couldn't believe we were talking to an actual witch. Wow, that was a big fall. Yes, I crashed because, well, some birds flew in front of me. Can you help me find my broom? Of course we can. The four of us dived into the leaves. Here it is. We held up what we each thought was a broom, but, oh no. Your broom is broken. Oh, flaming cauldrons. That's not good. Can you fix it with a spell? No. For this broom to fly, we would need to make a flying potion, but I would need a witch's cauldron for that. Oh dear, do you want to come back to our unipods? We can come up with a plan. That would be amazing. As a thank you, I'd love to bake something for you all. That sounds great. On the way back home, Charm picked sugar plumps and twinkle berries. Wow, you're really good at finding the tastiest food. Thanks. Soon, we were at the Unipods. Mr. Rumtwinkle, Monty, Scarlet, and Jed couldn't believe their eyes. It was a real witch. Hi, I'm Charm. Hello, this is Jed, Scarlet, and Monty. And I'm Mr. <clears throat> Mr. Rumtwinkle. Yes, that's right. We told Mr. Rumtwinkle and the others how Charm had made a crash landing, and everyone agreed that Charm should stay for as long as she needed. So Charm happily started baking. She baked the most yummy cupcakes. As we were eating, Monty got a bit curious. So, what made you crash your broom? Oh, um... A big gust of wind, I think. A bit earlier, Charm had said that birds had made her crash. I wondered why she was giving a different reason now, but I guess that doesn't really matter. Look at us! We're broommates! <laughs> we chatted and giggled with Charm for hours. What an amazing day, Diary! We have a new friend, and she's a witch! Chapter 3 A Magical Feather Tuesday At breakfast this morning, we ate twinkle-tastic twinkleberry pancakes that Charm made. Without a cauldron, the only way to get home is to make a new broomstick, but I will need all your help to make it fly. How can we help? The feather from a flying unicorn can actually power a witch's broom. Oh, please, use one of mine! Thank you, Nutmeg. I was hoping you'd say that. Yay! Let's make Charm a new broom. Charm started teaching us what to do. Mr. Rumtwinkle trotted over, and we told him about our plan. I love how you're learning from one another. So, unicorns, this week you can try to earn your learning patch. 
Charm might even learn some things from you all, too. Charm wrote us a list of everything we needed. Magic broomstick materials. One bag of fairy dust. Willow branches. Dandelion stalks. Magical meadow grass. Twigs from 20 different trees. Reeds from Rainbow Falls. Then we split up to find the materials in the forest. I quickly found fairy dust. When we returned, Charm taught us how to weave together the bottom of the broom. While we worked, she told us that she goes to Winchester School. We asked what she learns there. It's mostly potions, spells, fortune-telling, and broom-flying. Oh, and math. Wow, I bet you're good at all of it. Before Charm could answer, Nutmeg threw herself on the ground. Okay, I'm ready to give up one of my feathers. Be gentle. Nutmeg, you're so kind to do this. Oh, this is no big deal. Just in case this hurts a bit, let's try to make you laugh. That sounds fun. Piper gently plucked out one of Nutmeg's feathers while we all made funny faces. All done. No way. I didn't even feel it. Nutmeg flew up and twirled in the sky. And I can still fly okay. That's better than okay. You're amazing. Your broom is ready now, Charm. Can you show us how amazing your flying is? Charm sat on her new broom. I was so excited to see her fly. But then she got right back off. Well, um, the sun's starting to set now. Maybe tomorrow? At cloud time, Charm made us all a delicious mug of hot choco mystic. Yummy! You're so good at making tasty food and drinks, Charm. Thank you. I love baking and cooking. I was glad Charm was still staying with us, but something didn't seem right. Does it seem strange that Charm didn't fly home today? Yeah, I guess so. But it was getting dark, and she was probably tired. There's always tomorrow. Well, Diary, Sunny is right. There is always tomorrow. Chapter 4 The Worst Witch Wednesday The smell of sugar plum muffins woke us up early this morning. Yum! Wow, delicious! Thank you so much! You're very welcome. After breakfast, we can't wait to see you fly. Charm suddenly stopped what she was doing. Um, there's something I haven't told you. Charm swallowed hard before she continued. I'm not very good at flying. In fact, even though I have a lovely new broom, I'm not sure I can fly home. I'm sure you're not that bad. Oh, I am. I'm the worst witch in all my classes. The only thing I'm good at is baking, and well, that's not a very witchy thing to do. We all felt sorry for charm. Well, we think you're the best witch ever. And I'm sure you're better at magic than you think. Thank you, but watch me try to turn this pumpkin into a mouse. Charm scrunched her eyes tight and raised her hands toward the pumpkin. Pumpkin mousey, oh! Suddenly, a cloud of sparkles burst around the pumpkin. The pumpkin magically turned into a banana. See, I'm not good at magic. That was still pretty cool. Tastes good, too. And don't worry about the flying. You've only just started to learn. I'm sure with a bit of practice you can fly home. Charm smiled. You're right. It's time to practice. Charm got on her broom and we all cheered as she whooshed off the ground but she flew straight into a tree. Don't worry, I'm okay, and I won't give up. 
she mounted her broom and shot off in the opposite direction. Sunny, Nutmeg, and I galloped to Twinkle Plop Lagoon just as Charm Splash landed into it. Oops, sorry I crash landed in your lagoon. That's okay, flying must be hard. Welcome to our lagoon. Charm smiled before taking off again. Whoa, sorry, I can't seem to stop. We caught up to her just as she flew upside down through a fairy parade. Oops, sorry. Oh, don't worry. We don't get to run into a witch very often. We looked up to find Charm. Oh, no, she's flying toward the dragon's nest. She flew and looped the loops over and over again until she sped forward and crashed right into a dragon. Well, hello there, little witch. Sorry. That's okay. It looks like you're new to flying. Nutmeg is the best flyer I know. I bet she could help you learn. Oh, that's a great idea. Would you teach me how to fly, Nutmeg? Of course, and actually, maybe we can all help you learn to control your magic. That would be great. We thanked the dragons and said goodbye. On our way back to the Unipods, we talked about how we couldn't wait to help Charm. Tomorrow is going to be so fun. Chapter 5 The Unicorn Witch School Thursday Today we were all excited to help Charm. We set up our very own Unicorn Witch School. But when it was time to get started, Charm didn't look happy. Are you okay, Charm? I feel bad that I need all this help. Charm, everyone is good at different things. You might need some help with flying, but you don't need any help baking yummy treats. Yeah, I'm terrible at main styling. Nutmeg is much better than me. But Piper is so much better at math than me. I can't make people laugh like Sunny can. But no one dances better than Bo. We talked about what we were and weren't good at, and we realized we were all good at something. Some things just take longer for us to learn than others. And that's okay. Yes, with practice, I'm sure you can fly better. You're right. Let's get started. The rest of the day was glitterific fun. We had made a sky obstacle course. Nutmeg showed Charm how to fly around it. Charm flew through hoops and did many loop-the-loops. It was incredible! And Charm was really loving it. Whee! At cloud time, we shared how our special unicorn powers work. To make our magic happen, we have to focus on something that makes us happy. Wow, our witch magic works the same way, but... But what? My classmates think about their pets to make them feel happy. Oh, so why don't you think about yours? I don't have a pet. Most witches have a cat, but I'm allergic to fur. It makes me sneeze, and sneezing makes me crash. Then tomorrow, we will find you a non-sneezy new pet. I really think this idea will work, Diary. What kind of animal do you think Charm should have as a pet? Chapter 6. A New Pet Friday This morning, Charm, Sunny, and I set out early to find Charm a pet. We visited Edna the Gnome first because she always helps non-magical animals. Hi, Bowen friends. Hi, Edna. Do you know of any animals who need a special home? They need to be furless and enjoy flying. Why, yes, I do. And I see why you need one. You have made friends with a witch. Come with me. Edna introduced Charm to a pigeon. This bird is a perfect pet for you. She actually can't fly anymore. Charm gave a big smile. Maybe they could help each other fly. Hi, cutie. What's your name? Her name is Gwendolyn. 
Sonny and I could see there was a magic connection between the witch and the pigeon. Hi, Gwendolyn. Do you want to go for a ride? Gwendolyn cooed back. Then Charm and Gwendolyn flew up into the sky. Thank you so much, Edna. It makes me very happy to have a pet. Later, we all met at the Unipods. Charm, let's see if your new pet can help you with your other magic skills. Charm took a deep breath. In fact, we all did. <sighs> Pumpkin Mousy O. Oh. Yay! Aw, oh, he's so cute. The pumpkin had turned into a mouse. Charm handed the mouse to Nutmeg. Maybe you could keep him. He could be your special pet. Wow, thank you, Charm. I will name him Pumpkin. We played with Pumpkin and Gwendolyn until it was time for Charm to leave. I learned how to fly and control my magic thanks to all of you. But the best thing that I learned is that it's okay to be good at different things and to need help sometimes. We all cheered, but we knew it was now time to say goodbye to Charm and Gwendolyn. Then Mr. Rumtwinkle appeared with good news. Guess what, unicorns? You've all earned your learning patch. I will give out your patches during the Sparkle Grove Patch Parade tomorrow, and I think Charm should stay for the parade. So we asked Charm and Gwendolyn to please stay one more night, and luckily they agreed. Before cloud time, we played bubble pop together. Oh, diary, tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Chapter 7. The Patch Parade Saturday At breakfast this morning, Charm was busy baking up a storm. Gwendolyn likes baking, or making messes, too. Together, they made loads of yummy candy clouds, buttercup dreams, and butterfluff cakes. My classmates are going to be so amazed. I've gotten much more confident at flying and using my magic. We're so glad to help, and thank you for making us all these treats. You're very welcome, my friends. Soon it was time for the patch parade. Mr. Rumtwinkle gave us our learning patches. He even gave one to Charm. Then we partied. Charm used her magic to make even more yummy desserts. After lots of dancing and glitter, it was time for Charm and Gwendolyn to go home. It was sad to say goodbye, but we felt lucky to have created amazing memories with our new friend. We learned a lot about witches and how to help new friends. We all gave Charm a big hug. Then she and Gwendolyn flew off up above the clouds. Charm promised she'd come back to visit. I'm so glad we were able to meet a witch and help her, too. Yeah, I'm also happy we're good at different things. Me, too. Life would be very boring if we were all the same. Of course, there is one thing we're both good at, though. Sleeping! What a glitterific week, diary. But for now, I gotta fly. See you next time! The End Thank you for coming to Storytime. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I read new stories every week, so be sure to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to hear another one. Hope to see you again soon.